The House of Representatives is to provide an accountability mechanism to ensure that national resources are administered more effectively and fairly for the good of the citizens. House Speaker Femi Bajabiamila said this at a public hearing. It's on the need to recover the outstanding 2.6 trillion naira debt owed the federal government by oil and gas companies operating in the country. Mr. Bajamabia Bina reiterated the commitment of the House to use legislative instruments to ensure transparency and accountability in managing public resources. The Speaker said the House would not hesitate in evoking relevant legislative authority on any stakeholder that failed to cooperate in the exercise. appropriately accounted for. To underscore the importance of this exercise, let me make a bold statement that if there are companies that either prevaricate or refuse to cooperate in this exercise, it may be the first time in the Ninth Assembly, maybe even in history, that we will need or I personally will invoke the provisions of the Constitution and have whoever is responsible or does not cooperate with the committee have him arrested under the provisions of the Constitution. That's how important this exercise is. If true, two trillion six hundred billion is not child's play. And if it is true, we need to recover that money. Is that that out of negligence that people are colluding that these companies get away with it? Or that people decided on their own to scuttle the process of good governance in this country? Because all over the world, I know of a truth that tax evasion is a serious crime. And people don't get away with it and walk around the streets if they don't pay taxes. And it's only in our country here that we take it with levity. So that's why I say this is called for action. We are not more going to sit back and allow people get away with this kind of thing. The disclosures were either taxes in various forms, and then um, the other was payment of royalty. And uh, we are concerned about 2019 and our report emphasized that these payments were not made as at and when you as at 20th of December, 2020. 20th of December, 2020. So whatever happened after 20th of December, 2020 can only be captured by a relevant report in 2021. The total amount outstanding as, as of 1st February, 2022 is um, 400, Four six seven point six nine million dollars, and out of that, MPDC owes four forty point zero six eight million dollars. That's ninety four percent of that amount. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.